Hello, this is Tristan from CardioCritic.com and this is just a very quick video presentation of the Tidal apps and Tidegraph apps and widgets that you can find for your Garmin Phoenix 5 watch. So if you've got a Garmin Phoenix 5, 5S or 5X, this video applies to you. These um, apps and widgets are also available for other Phoenix and other Forerunner watches, so it probably applies to those watches as well, but please check that compatibility on the Garmin Connect IQ uh, website. Okay, so this is Garmin Phoenix 5 I have in my hand, and this is Garmin's own Tide application. So it's a Tide application, which means it goes into here, which with all my other sports and other apps I've downloaded. So there's Tides. When I press this, it's gonna look a little bit quicker than it always is, because I did a Tidal uh, grab about five minutes ago so it used a gps to check my location and then it used my wi-fi connection on my phone to pull in seven days worth of tide graphs if you've either moved your location or more than seven days have elapsed then it would take about 30 seconds to pull in the data from the garmin data center okay so these are the tide graphs for me in my area it tells you at the top there it's in Norfolk in Hanstanton there's two highs and two low tides one high before and one low before and then the current high and the next low so looking on the top right hand side there we can see that my next high tide is at 1624 and it's a 6.57 meter tide and the next low tide is at 22.53 and it's a 1.54 and today is the 29th of January why I really like this app and why it's my favorite that I use for windsurfing is because it gives a good graphical rep representation of the range of the tides and also I get this seven day um, predicted tide graphs for the next seven days. So they get stored in the watch so I can check those, you know, if I'm not got my phone on me or just have a quick look. Okay, so I like that. Um, there's some of the settings here. location Norfolk and Stanton and obviously if you've moved places you will get another location in there so you'll be able to see a couple you can set it to a um, coordinates if you want it to always just bring up the same um, data then it would just do it like that so it's now retrieving the tide data for my coordinates as opposed to the GPS um, I am in the garden I think I've got Wi-Fi we don't get 3G or 4G here, so this might take a couple of couple of seconds. And there we go. So that's now picked up the tidal data from my coordinates, not from my GPS. So in the future, um, you know, if you know your coordinates, you could put them in there, but. You could, if you're going somewhere tomorrow, then you could enter the last and long. If you get that data off the um, website, then you'll be able to put it into the into the watch, and you'll be able to see the tides for that location. Okay, so let's say this is the Garmin tides. It's my favourite. It's the one I prefer. It's reliable. The other one I'm just going to quickly show you. I was hoping it would be better than it is. It's got very good reviews. Um, Again, it uses your GPS, lo this one uses your GPS location and then it retrieves tides from World Tides. So we'll pop up there, World Tides, locating very quickly and then boom, there's my graph. Now this is in feet, I can't seem to be able to change it, which is a bit annoying because I always work in tidal meters, but that's you know, not the end of the world. It's telling me my next high tide is... Um, well, it doesn't actually tell you that this tells you I have to press the button to go into that so it tells me the next high tide is at 1655 which kind of agrees with the Garmin data but the tide height is says 4.8 feet and I know that's definitely wrong and also that doesn't really work with the tide height so you can see here on the right hand side um, currently the tides at 13.7 feet at 1543 so it's going to raise a couple more feet I'm wondering if they just missed off a one in front of there that's meant to be 14.8 feet at 1655 um, I'm going I'm to talk to World Tides about that because 
um, if that's just a little bit of a bug there then they can fix that and we've got another good tidal app so this is world tides and um, the setup on this one does take a little bit more than garmin garmin you just install it from garmin connect iq and then syncs and then it works uh, on this one you need to pop over to worldtides.info i think it is forward slash activate and then put in your email address get an activation code and enter it into the watch um, if you use it a lot then you sh I think you have to pay about three or four pounds a year for the license to be able to run it so it's not not a great deal of money and, and worth it but I would like to see them fix this funny little problem here okay so this is Tristan from cardiocritic.com um, we've just had a look at the World Tides widget widgets go on the front page of your Garmin product like these other things we've got here and the other thing we looked at was the Garmin Tides application which gives us this graph okay so both good both useful both handy um, remember that these are just predictions they're not there's no there's nothing nothing is bomb proof uh, they just give you an idea of the trends okay thanks for watching it's Tristan from cardiocritic.com uh, please like subscribe share subscribe again like again and share again thank you for watching bye